Donc là, The Legion of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Le trailer que je n'ai pas vu, le dernier. Elle a normalement un peu plus de son. Et après FF16. Ah, comme j'ai déjà dit, j'avoue que je suis mitigé <rire> par rapport à... Le premier, j'ai pas plus aimé que ça. Et là, en fait, t'as l'aspect lore, machin. Un peu plus sombre peut-être. Qui... Ça m'intrigue. Avec ce qu'on voit... Et là, tu fais... Hmm. C'est toujours c'est grand. Oh il y a dans... il y a des maisons incroyables, des tentes, des trucs chelous. Une grosse tornade au loin. Comme le château il se fait encore posséder. Un vrai ganon. Zelda qui meurt. Oh. oh Il y avait du home soon. Moi j'ai vu des, des paysans enfin se défendre. Ça a l'air stylé hein, quand même. <rire> Zelda. Il restera ton chevalier. Le jeune homme à la lame purificatrice. Si nous échouons, tout reposera sur lui. Link. Une fusée. Je pense pouvoir vous aider. En fait, je suis la seule à pouvoir le faire. Ouvre grand les yeux. Le véritable roi René. Sois témoin de l'avènement de son monde. Allez Link, on y va Toutefois, tu n'es pas seul, justement. Link. Ouh. Tu es notre dernier espoir. Avec une Master Sword qui va servir à rien comme dans le premier jeu. Peut-être. Ok, ok. Link. Je t'en prie, retrouve-moi. Hmm. Et on va faire pause. Oh bah, en vrai Ça me plaît beaucoup plus que ce que j'ai pu voir déjà au préalable avant. Je sais qu'il y a beaucoup de gens, c'est le gameplay, machin et tout, euh, qui était là. Ouais, mais c'était quoi l'histoire Là, j'avoue que, bon. Voilà, mais euh, ça m'intrigue beaucoup. Et ce flot de ganon. Attends, est-ce qu'on peut le retrouver Il est où Donc, Ce gros stick là. Ah, oh, enfin le vrai et pas le, euh, le sanglier. <rire> Il est stylé. Ah, oh, intéressant. On va passer à F16. On va plaît du State of Play, c'est 25 minutes. 
peu à ce titre en français. Comme ça, on est bon. Je vais mettre en 1.5. Euh, 1.25. Allez. Peggy 18. Oh, Peggy 18. Oh. Ah non mais c'est déjà... C'est chelou. Ah, en vrai, il parle assez vite. Parce qu'à chaque fois, les trucs japonais et Nintendo... Ça met une heure. Vous savez le target. Shiva est dominant. Et seulement le dominant. Focus, Wyvern. Vous êtes clé à cette mission de succès. Avec que du 1080. Et le soldat. J'ai dit focus, Wyvern. Ah, c'est du gameplay. Ça avance. <rire> ah, ok. Oh, sweet home. Allow me to welcome you to the world of Final Fantasy 16. Final Fantasy 16 is the latest installment in the Final Fantasy series, a storied franchise with 35 years of history. Yet while this is the 16th mainline title in the series, there oh, y a des gobelins. To have played any of the previous games before jumping in. With a fusion of real time action and RPG features, Final Fantasy XVI has been developed as the first true action RPG in the series. Using the power of the PlayStation 5 to its fullest, the game delivers an expansive, thrilling gameplay experience which we liken to a high speed roller coaster ride. Ah, j'avoue, un, un truc 4K, ça aurait été pas mal, hein. Parce que bon. <laughs> Ouais. Oh les patates. Oh la parade parfaite. C'est chiant qu'il soit sur PS5. Le The protagonist de notre histoire est Clive Rosfield et son journey takes place dans le realm de Valisthea. Nous suivons la épique tale de Clive, shield of the Grand Duchy of Rosaria, as it unfolds across three distinct periods in our hero's life. Trois périodes différentes de sa vie. Oh, il n'y aura pas des élites, j'espère. While the story begins with Clive in his 20s, a fully playable flashback will allow you to experience the pivotal events that shaped his past and present. Ah lui, le flashback évidemment. On connaît. And thus does the curtain open on this newest Final Fantasy adventure. Oh, lo, lo. T'as des alliés avec toi. Est-ce que tu pourras leur donner euh, des actions en mode fais ça, ça, ça Phoenix il meurt et ressuscite. Je connais. Ok. 
navigation in Final Fantasy 16 is driven via a world map, with locations being added and updated as players progress through the main narrative. The world map can be opened at any time, allowing players access to all manner of locations across Valisthea. Voyage rapide, oui. Here, players will meet new friends, encounter formidable foes, and uncover great and wondrous mysteries. C'est beau, hein? <laughs> Quand même. Là, tu fais. On a un dougo. Le drift du bateau. <rire> Next, I'd like to talk about the combat of Final Fantasy 16. Ah. All the battles in the game take place in real time and are not turn-based. As Clive progresses through the story, he will learn a wide array of exciting abilities from Évidemment. the that he encounters. Now, let's take a moment to admire Clive in action. Ah. J'ai l'impression que ouais, ça, ça va être ça, c'est pas en si tu euh, les invos pourra les assigner euh, ou c'est euh, quoi tu changes. truc qui a euh, qui augmente euh, un veau une arme tu peux changer un peu à la volée c'est que trois ah, J'ai l'impression. Hein. Je joue à TB. Ok, tu peux avoir 6 bails d'équipement. Par le sphérié, le famoso. Les joueurs peuvent points collectés par les ennemis pour unlock plus d'abilités ou upgrade les existantes. Can't decide which iconic ability to unlock or upgrade? No problem. You can let the game choose for you. Oh, oui. Final Fantasy VI includes a range of timely accessories to provide support to those players who may not be so skilled at action games, bringing them a truly enjoyable experience. Players are encouraged to equip Clive with different combinations of these accessories until they find the one that perfectly matches their own playstyle. T'es pas obligé, mais c'est dans le jeu en mode. Euh... A I can particularly <rire> recommend to those who may struggle with action gameplay is the Ring of Timely Focus and the Ring of Timely Strikes. This combination allows players to unleash a wide array of different techniques just by pressing a single attack button as well as shifting into a window of slow motion whenever Clive is about to be hit by an attack, giving them a little extra time to hit R1 and evade. Hmm. 
Alternatively, players could equip an accessory that fully automates evasion. As I said before, I really encourage everyone to discover the combination that works best for them. Ouais, c'est accessibilité quoi. Yeah. Parce qu'il n'y a pas de niveau de difficulté hein, de mémoire dans le jeu, de ce que j'ai uh, pu uh, comprendre. And for those who want to concentrate on the story, don't forget to choose story focus mode before que... starting a new game. In this mode, timely accessories are automatically equipped from the start, allowing players to immerse themselves in the narrative experience without having to worry too much with the action. A story or uh, action? Oh, yeah, another. Bon par contre, euh, les langues, hein, pas en anglais, hein, s'il vous plaît. <rire> Il y aura en tout. Five will meet many characters along his journey who will join him as friends and allies. Ulmog. This place. These are fallen ruins. Well, we didn't think they'd mind. And it keeps the black from our lungs. But how do you survive without magic? Sidolphus, who becomes a mentor to Clive. Jill, a friend from Clive's youth. It really is. Oh, mentor, la... <laughs> Il a mis l'enfance. Great personal growth. It is. Clive. Some of these companions will even accompany Clive on his adventures fighting alongside him and finding lots to talk about along the way. That said, players will only need to focus on controlling Clive. Party members are fully AI driven, providing support for the hero and constantly adapting and responding to his actions. Okay, why not? I don't think you can give them orders. Oh, there's not a force euh, un truc un peu plus, euh, comment dire, un peu à la FF12 pour les contrôler. Euh, tu pas juste par exemple attaquer défense ou euh, ou autre, mais euh, vraiment FF12 où tu peux vraiment choisir en mode. Ok, à tant de PV tu fais ça, à tant de machin tu fais ça. Je sais plus comment ça s'appelle. Euh, comme il l'avait appelé. Torval is always by Clive's side and willing to stand by him in the face of whatever cruel fate may befall them. Torval will act of his own accord, but players can also give him direct commands. Ah, c'est le Dogo. Dogo, on peut. Just okay. forget to give this good boy some treats every now and then. Good boy. Goots, get her upstairs. But, but Nan will... Don't fret about Karen. I've taken care of her fee. All of it. Oh, the beta. He's there. You've nothing to worry about. Go. Have a look around. I'll be in my solo. After progressing somewhat through the game, Clive will gain access to Sid's hideaway. Here in the hideaway, Clive will find a shop where yes. he can purchase new weapons, armor, and consumables such as potions. You not find a better price than that. Well, Blackthorn, a highly skilled blacksmith, works the hideaway's forge, bring in materials to craft new gear or upgrade existing work. items. Ça c'est la base, le craft, tout ça. Or unlocking new abilities, try accessing the Arete Stone. Um, she, uh, training mode. Here, players can enter a virtual training area outside the bounds of time and space where they are free to refine and practice combos of their very own. Come on. Once you're confident in your skills, try your hand at arcade mode. Oh, tu peux vraiment tout contrôler. Stack up against players from around the world. The hideaway is home to a lot of other features as well. Ça, ça va être concours de speedrun, hein. <rire> Not only will players discover a variety of side quests here, but they can also view information on quests offered all around Valistia. Hmm. 
<coughs> bon. Elle se met à y penser. Et enfin on joue un trentenaire <rire> Il est vrai Ok il y avait, euh, il y avait Snow qui était... Euh... C'est vieux non Visit the hunt board to gain information on elite marks, fearsome foes lurking about the realm in desperate contrats. The Moogle will be your guide. What do you <rire> There's also Lorsman Harpocrates, who will unlock Valisthea's secrets as Clive recounts tales of his adventures. I have quite the find for you today. You wish to study the tomes? Here for another of my lectures. And Vivian Ninetales, a scholar and strategist who will be more than happy to explain to Clive the current state of the realm and provide information on key players. There are all kinds of interactions and features in the hideaway to help players get even more enjoyment out of their time with Final Fantasy XVI. Don't you put... envoyer des troupes euh, machin On his travels, Clive will encounter a wide array of fearsome foes. <coughs> Et B. Tape géant. <rire> Ouh, belle esquive. Ah, du massage. Hein. Faut mâcher. Clash with the dominance who wield the power of the icons. Voir des primordiaux. Si tu butes, tu récupères le pouvoir. Est-ce que c'est un peu comme Highlander On peut en rester qu'un. Colossal beasts who hold the surrounding lands under their sway. Mysterious constructs of the fallen, a civilization shrouded in mystery. Ah, ça, je reconnais hein, les patterns de. <rire> Le fait de 14. And we cannot forget the icons themselves. 
experience unparalleled real-time action combat as Clive takes command of the iconic might coursing through his veins and shatters his very limits. The shining point of Final Fantasy 16, however, has to be the breathtaking icon versus icon battles. confrontations all play out in real time, allowing players to control their very own icon with their own hands. <laughs> These battles differ depending on the icon encountered, and every showdown is unique, right down to gameplay. Players will experience everything from a 3D scrolling shooter to a heavyweight wrestling match with devastating attacks that encompass the entire battlefield. Ok, chaque euh, machin a un gameplay différent. Cool. battles are entirely seamless, and I can promise you heart-stopping, controller-gripping excitement. I can't wait for you to get your hands on the game for yourself. C'est les pics naissants quand même. <rire> Ça, ça me rappelle vraiment les vagues euh, Azure's Wars. Mais bon. Avec un peu la démesure. Typhon. T'es quand déjà la sortie du jeu pour mon anniversaire je crois peut-être de commander ça euh, demander ça euh, PS5 et, euh, et le GAMU pour la Nive euh. ce serait pas mal So everyone, what did you think? Thank you for taking the time to join us today. Final Fantasy 16 will be available worldwide June 22nd, and there's still plenty that we have left to reveal. Battle content, avant. content, end game content, and more. We hope to bring you more on these aspects of the game in the near future. Also, I'm truly excited to finally be able to reveal that Final Fantasy 16's main theme was written and performed by one of Japan's greatest recording artists. 
Kenshi Yonezu. We've still got a lot more in store for you in the coming weeks, and I hope you'll all pre-order the game and join us in Valisthea on release day. This has been Naoki Yoshida, producer of Final Fantasy XVI. See you again soon. Bye bye. Ok. <coughs> Stylé de. Et de fou, fou malade. Oh, ce game est fait. Mais c'est pas sain, quoi. Oh. Ah, ça, ça me hype plus que Zelda, là. <rire> Je suis tiraillé. Bon, enfin.